the control and advanced weapon systems. Those areas has a meaning also in terms of what we focus on. That this creates a joint perspective. We work with systems of systems integration, so we put a lot of effort in that area. So we do everything from fighters to submarines in our portfolio today. In the aeronautical domain, we have many major programs ongoing. We have, uh, we have shown uh, a great track record in meeting milestones with short lead times in all the aircraft programs that we're running today, including the Gripen program, of course, the T-7 Red Hawk program for the training aircraft together with Boeing, and also the Global Eye program. These programs are now entering into a production phase. We've started our deliveries of the Gripen aircraft to Sweden and Brazil, we have recently we have delivered the first aft aircraft section to Boeing to the US and we have delivered three Global Eye to UAE. We have also entered together with UK and Italy into a UK and Italian industries into the FCAS program, the Future Combat Air System program. I think this is a really important thing to to create technology innovations that will be provided to the Gripen systems for decades to come. So this will support our commitment for this system at least up into 2060. Our company is an international company. We have grown a lot during the years. We put a lot of focus in establishing partnerships with certain selected countries and certain selected industries in these countries. This is a win-win to solve to do that in terms of establishing strength when it comes to engineering capabilities and access to the latest technologies. And we are a company that are completely open when doing technology transfer to these countries and also investing in doing IP, intellectual property and products in these countries. We are known to invest a lot of money in research and development and this keeps us state of the art in all our core areas going forward. We are 18,000 employees today with the majority still in Sweden which is a strong base but more than 4,000 employees outside Sweden. If we turn to Finland, Saab has been in Finland for a long time, of course, and uh, we have lately grown our operations in Finland and doubled that, more than doubled that since 2015, and we constantly continue to recruit in Finland. We have operations at six locations today, with our headquarters in, in Helsinki, and we have created a technology center as well, doing a lot of interesting things for existing programs. We have a large installed base, so we support all the domains in Finland with our products today, Navy, Army and Air Force. So we are continuously growing our capabilities in Finland. 